So here we're going to do some testing with our sumo board in line follower mode. Uh, we got our common dry erase board here. You can pick up one of these at Staples or any uh, kind of office supply store for about $20 or $30. Uh, we threw some black tape on there. This is just uh, your regular 3M electrical tape. Scotch, sorry. <laughs> and uh, here we go. We got our jumpers set in line folder mode here. You can see that? I'm just gonna enable the motors and turn this bad boy on. Sometimes it gets trapped in an endless loop. In sumo mode, after the five second delays, the motors will still spin, if, even if you have it off the mat. In line follower mode, this won't happen. So here the sumo board is in sumo mode. Just configured the jumpers over there to the right. And now we're gonna turn her on on the sumo board mat here. We got about a five second delay, and then we'll start running after that. And it should follow my hand. Kind of like an opponent being in the ring with it. I want your edge sensors to fit uh, about a half centimeter or a three millimeter to half centimeter off the board, or else you might run into issues. Let's see what happens when we have the board far too close to to the surface that it's riding on. So as we can see here, with the edge sensor board far too low, it just doesn't have enough room to reflect and then just passes by the black line without seeing it at all. So the hardware glitch with version 1 of the sumo board is that if you turn it on and you don't have a good connection to your edge sensor board or if it's uh, not available. power disappears. So it's really important to have a good connection to your sensor board right here on those two connections. You also have to watch out for putting the edge sensor board in one pin off where it should be because it won't work either. You also want to make sure that your solder joints are pretty well done on the on both the main board and the discrete logic board here just because any cold solder joint could give you a, an issue where either your, your edge sensors aren't making good connection or your power is not making good connection and it will definitely op, uh, offset the operation of your sumo board. So I want to talk about the trim pots and uh, what they do. Uh, first of all we got trim pot one just down here. This trim pot uh, adjusts the frequency of, of the uh, infrared emitters. So you want to dial that in and uh, you should end up around uh, 38 kilohertz range. Uh, so for trim pots two and three, sure this guy and this guy over here, these will adjust the sensitivity of your two left edge, edge sensors. TP2 adjusts those two, TP3 adjusts the right side ones there. So you want to go um, clockwise for more sensitivity, counterclockwise for less. And for uh, TP4 here, that uh, adjusts our delay off the beginning. You want to go counterclockwise for a shorter delay and then clockwise for a longer delay. 
here we got TB5 and 6 and those adjust your backup and turn time uh, when in single bore mode and that's your trim pots so for adjusting your your uh, distance detection for the I guess the front IR sensors you'll want to set up uh, like a white sheet of paper about oh yeah let's say a foot away and then Got your LED blinking there. Put your uh, your flat blade screwdriver down at the pot there, and start uh, turning it back until you get the LED kind of going solid. And you can kind of pull the bot back a little until you start seeing it flash again. Now uh, there, it's not detecting very well. We'll see if we can turn the pot a bit more and see if we can get it to go back solid. Oh, there we go. Let's turn it back even more. Oh, there we go. Just repeat the process. should be a kind of a, a threshold where you don't want to go too far detect too far outside of the, the sumo war ring I'd say probably a good foot and a half is probably what your maximum will be because uh, you don't want to be detecting outside of the ring uh, like spectators and that kind of thing so here we're about two feet away we're still detecting pretty good and turn it on to the other side and see. There we go, that's pretty solid. Just wanted to show that we're about more, probably two and a half to three feet away from, uh, from the white paper.